Hi guys, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Jamie and today we're going to do a video on uh, something a little special. 2012 HSV Club Sport Series 3. Uh, this isn't like any other Club Sport. Um, the condition of this car is phenomenal. So please, while we're doing a walk around the video, please have a look um, in real fine detail how good it does present. We'll start off at the front, as you can see, with that newer HSV styling uh, grille that the Series 3 do have. Looks really aggressive, looks really nice. You've got the air vents uh, in the top as well. Obviously, this being the 6.2 LS3, you will need the better cooling Why the engine vents are there. Sorry, the hood vents are there. You can also see that we do have the massive daytime rain lights as well. Also have your fog lights down the bottom, which actually have the HSV uh, symbol in there in the actual lens of the glass. So you know they're not replicas. Still have the same factory headlights. Obviously, they work as a charm. That's why they've kept them. Um, but as you can see, the front of the car presents in really, really good condition. We'll come around to our first wheel. As you can see, the upgraded wheels on this vehicle as well. And as you can see, not a single mark on these wheels whatsoever. You can also see even the brake calipers, the red, um, the red brake calipers, even they're in such good condition as well. And you've got pretty much brand new tyres on this vehicle as well. Coming down the vehicle now, as you can see, also have the side vent. Obviously, that's going to help um, release a bit of the pressure that comes in from the wheels. You also got the side indicator integrated into that vent as well with the HSV badging down the bottom as well. Color coded exterior mirrors and door handles. You do have that little black trim down the bottom, the bottom of the mirror. Just gives it a bit of a different look. And then if you just take a look at the paintwork guys, absolutely fantastic condition. Got your club sport badging down the bottom as well. In really good intact as well. We'll come to our second wheel now. Uh, and as you can see with this wheel, wheel as well, literally not a single mark on it. Um, if it was clean and this car was in the showroom, you'd probably think it's a brand new car. Really good tread left on these tyres too. Fuel filler cap is on the right hand side. Coming around to the back of the car, probably the best looking bit of the car now. As you can see, this is the walking shore with the 307 walking shore performance package on it. You've got the twin walking shore exhaust. And obviously I'll run through a bit more of the upgrades a little bit later. Colour coded reverse parking sensors as well. And these do come with the re uh, factory reverse camera as well. I'll just pop the boot so we can take a look inside. There we are. Just going to hold the button down on the key. As you can see, the Commodores are known for the massive boot space that they do have. And then you've got the cargo uh, barrier in there, sorry, the cargo net in there as well. So if you do have shopping, you don't want to move everywhere. You've got that all sorted. You can also see that we have the massive spoiler fitted as well, which just looks great on the back of the vehicle. We'll come around now and we'll come to our third wheel where this wheel again, again, not a single mark on it. So you can see the pattern going on around here, guys. And again, pretty much brand new tires and the Brembo is in really good condition again. Now you'll be able to see the paintwork. If I'm being super, super picky on this car, the only mark I could find is this little touch up here. Uh, other than that, presents in really good condition. And we'll pop to our fourth and final wheel where this wheel again, you can see, even the wheel being the one you park right next to the curb, not a single mark on it again. And again, you've got pretty much brand new tyres all around. So as you can see, guys, the exterior the condition of the car is in really, really good condition. What we'll do now, guys, is we'll uh, jump underneath the bonnet and take a look at the heart of the car, the engine. Guys, now taking a look underneath the bonnet, you will see, obviously, the iconic 6.2 litre LS3. Uh, as I said, this does have a walk and shore package on it, so it is a bit different to your normal car. Uh, so as you can see here, we do have the walk and shore performance air intake. You also have down the side, which you not, might not be able to see, the walk and shore headers with the full exhaust um, and it's been tuned. So this actually makes 375 kilowatts now instead of the 317. So as you can see, a really good power upgrade. Right, guys, now having a look in the club sport now, uh, same with the outside, you'll see the inside of the condition, how good it does present. We'll start off on the steering wheel where as you can see, literally looks like a brand new steering wheel. Um, absolutely no wear on the steering wheel itself at all. Uh, if I'm being super picky, there's a tiny bit of threads hanging out, but that's if I'm being super picky. On the right-hand side of the steering wheel, you've got all your media controls, so the volume controls, also your EDI and your navigation, which I'll touch in a bit a little bit later. You also got your audio and your tripometer as well, and then your buttons to flick through the stations just on the left-hand side here. On your right-hand stalk, you've got your indicators and also your cruise control. And then on the, just behind that, you've got all your headlight controls and the brightness adjuster for the center cluster. Left hand stalk, of course, you've got your windscreen wipers. As I was talking about the EDI, which I'll just quickly show you now. So if you were to click this button here, 
and you flick into the screen. As you can see, you've got two gauges, kilowatts and newton meters. You can flick through, uh, your average fuel, flick through again, you've got a stopwatch. You can also see uh, you've got lap times as well, um, but the best one I always like to go to, as you can see, you've got plenty to flick through, is this one here. So you can actually see, if I was to rev the car, you can actually see the RPM actually goes up as well. And it shows you how much breakage you're using. So the harder I press the brake, the harder it will go. And obviously the harder I accelerate, the more it will go up as well. You can also change the shift. So it would actually tell you when to shift. So you can see here, it tells me you need to, I need to shift. You put into sport, performance, or even track as well, where it will shift right at the end so you get the best performance you can. So we'll go back into the middle screen now where I'll show you the navigation. So as you can see here, obviously it has satellite navigation so it has AM, FM radio, satellite navigation, USB, AUX and the Bluetooth as well. Really nice reverse camera in this vehicle too for, for 2012, really good reverse camera that are in these as well. As you can see it is touchscreen as well so if I go back here we'll show you that you can flick through the stations and everything else using the touchscreen. Um, really good system to use and easy to use as well. Just quickly pan up and show you that there are three gauges in this car so you've got your battery voltage, you've got your oil temperature, sorry, your oil pressure and your oil temperature. So obviously, um, sorry, oil temperature, oil pressure, other way around. Obviously in a performance car like this, uh, you wouldn't want to be driving this car if one of these two were not where they should be. So obviously if you don't have enough oil pressure or temperature, that's not a good sign. And if do you have too much of both, obviously that's not a good sign either. We'll pan down now where, as you can see, this being a club sport, being an R8, you do get the R8 um, plaque as well looks really nice, finishes the car off really well, just to let you know while you're driving, you're driving something special. And you've got all your hard buttons for the radio as well. Just below that again, you've got all your climate control settings, it is dual zone climate control, so if I was to change it here, you will see, if I was to change the one next to it, you can see two different temperatures. I'm just going to turn that off because we don't need that on as yet. Uh, just under here, you got a little storage compartment right next to where your traction control button is. Uh, this being a HSV, you may want to turn the traction control off. Uh, your six-speed manual gearbox, everyone knows that the gearboxes in uh, the Commodores are pretty phenomenal. Uh, really easy to use and the clutch is a little bit heavy in this one but still easy to use. All your buttons for your central locking, your power windows and your power mirrors as well. All through there. You've got your manual handbrake which if you do fold it down, folds very nicely into the interior. Tucks away nicely. And if we have a look inside the center console here, 12 volt socket as I said before and you got your USB and a, uh, and a UX as well. What I do, I just get the camera person just to pan around the interior, show you the condition of this vehicle, even the leather seats for that case, the, uh, the condition that they're in and how comfy they are uh, is phenomenal for the previous owner to keep it this good. You also see that the previous owners decided to fit a dash mat. Anytime someone fits a dash mat to the car, you know they've looked after it. Uh, while I'm here, I'll just quickly read out the services of this car. Obviously, that's a big thing. So we'll just quickly pull it out. So the first service was done at 5,000 kilometers. Second one was done at, if I can get it open, done at 9,000 kilometers. And then you got 16,032. So as you can see, really low kilometers on this car as well. So with only 34,000 kilometers, um, this car's a steal. All right guys, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch the video on the 2012 HSV Club Sport. As you can see with the interior and the exterior condition of the vehicle, um, I can assure you that you will not find a car as good as this. And if you do, um, that'd be a steal as well. But as you can imagine with the condition of this car that it is in, uh, I'm assuming it's not gonna last long. So please give us a call, 9907055. Please book a test drive on this car today. Also, we'll qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan. That's gonna give you five years up to, up to 200,000 kilometers of mechanical and electric, electrical protection. It's also gonna give you 10 years of roadside assistance as well. It is an additional cost, which if you are using our in-house finance, we'll only adjust your payments by a couple of dollars a week. So if you can speak to one of our business managers about that. So please, again, give us a call, 9907 My name is Jamie, and thanks for watching.